So we've come out to the Hololo prison today. It was the um, prison that was used to house the, the prisoners of war during the Vietnam War. Apparently most of it's been knocked down now, but it's just a facade and a bit of a museum that's left behind. So we just thought we'd come out and have a look and see what it's all about. Mm, costs $30,000 per person to get in. Yeah, so it's about $1.50. So this room apparently housed up to a hundred prisoners at a time with only small holes in the roof for ventilation. I don't think any of these windows or anything were here back then. I didn't actually realise that this prison was actually used by the French to detain political prisoners when the French were occupying Vietnam in the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. A lot of the museums actually geared towards that side of things rather than the, rather than the Vietnam War side and showing the, showing the horrendous conditions that the Vietnamese prisoners had to live under while they were, while they were in prison here. It seems to be a bit of a thing in Vietnam. Instead of using barbed wire on the top of buildings, they actually concrete broken glass into the top of it. Does the same job, I guess. So this is actually take two. We came out here a couple of days ago to see the train come down this, this little street in Hanoi, but the, um, apparently it actually crashed, so it didn't, didn't end up coming along. So we've come out here again today to, to see it come by.
Fitzroy's train street. We're gonna go spend the rest of the day in the cafe and have a few coffees and stuff. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye.